Hey guys, it's Lala. Welcome back to my channel. So I have for you guys today, as you saw by the title, a Dollar Tree haul. So I'm really excited to show you all the new things that I found. Before I get started, remember that if you're new, welcome. Hope that you stay subscribed, hang out with us. And if you're returning, welcome back. I'm going to go ahead and get into the haul. I'm going to just grab bags, whatever's in them. That's the way we're going to go. First thing is a Valentine's Day card that I got from my husband. It says, to my amazing number one husband, you have it all. And like then there's little like check boxes. So like each of them are like checked off and it says handsome, thoughtful, strong, kind, smart. And you open it up and then it says everything and has a check mark. It says thinking of every amazing thing about you, I am reminded just how lucky I am. Happy Valentine's Day. If you do not buy your cards at Dollar Tree and you are spending your money you know, a more expensive cards. I mean, do you? But like, these are the handmade cards and I'm, it has plastic over it right now, but they're really nice for $1.25. Okay, so I have talked about this in plenty of videos if you watch other videos, but I do um, suffer with depression and anxiety and I am currently unmedicated. But when I start to feel anxious and I need something to kind of just zone me back in, I really love to color. Now I don't like adult coloring books because those lines are really small and it gives me more anxiety than it helps take away. But I saw these really cool, um, like super cute new coloring books. And this is what it looks like. It says never dull your sparkle. And what I like about it is number one, they're like big lines or whatever, but they're little positive quotes and cute little pictures and I just love it. And there were other designs as well. Um, I posted them on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, you're missing out. I post tons of Dollar Tree stuff over there when I go shopping. I don't buy everything. So I do take pictures of a lot of things that I do not purchase. If you're not following me, it's in the description box below. Okay, I've also recently really gotten back into decorating my planner. I use a happy planner. I have a plan with me video. If you haven't watched it, check it out. But I saw this book and I was like, this is so freaking cute. It's called The Planner Book. And that's what it looks like. And the front of it says, stylish projects to creatively organize and commemorate your day. So like, there's just different projects you could do in your planners or in your journals, all sorts of different things and I just thought wow lots of ideas for me to try so I grabbed it and another thing something else I'm peeling the sticker off because a lot of the time Dollar Tree books their barcodes cover like the price okay well I, I ripped it enough I don't know if you guys will be able to see it but I can see it this book sold for $21.99 I'm gonna try it so you guys can see it. It's kind of hard because it ripped off funny, but $21.99. $1.25. You see what I'm saying? I love getting books from Dollar Tree. So another thing I got, see, I love books. This is a book right here. It's so it's by Peter Swanson. I don't know anything about this author. It's called All the Beautiful Lies. It just sounds really good. This price of this book was $26.99. I paid $1.25. I did get a few things for Valentine's Day decor. I do plan on actually tomorrow um, or Monday since we're off for um, MLK. I plan on decorating and filming my Valentine's Day coffee area. Um, and this is so freaking cute. It's a little heart bubblegum machine or whatever. Um, however, I forgot to buy gumballs, so I'll probably get those this weekend. Maybe, or I might just leave it the way it is, but it's so cute. I actually have an idea for this, um, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. But anyways, this is just so freaking cute. And I believe they had them in red also. Okay, I, I only saw one of these and it was in like a very random place, but I thought it was really cute and I wanted it. And it says blessed and pet obsessed because hello, my dogs are my kids. So I just really, really, really liked that. This plate was super cute. Um, they're calling it just a plate. It is a Valentine's Day plate and it's this pink and it's got glitter in it. And the glitter moves like when you shake it. Um, so I just thought it would be really cute to set something on. So I grabbed it. 
Uh, this is a Wet n Wild name brand lip gloss balm, Wild Shine. It's in the color Tutu to Tango. And that's what it looks like. It looks like it might be kind of sticky. I don't know. But I don't wear tons of makeup all the time because I work from home. And But sometimes I have to get on camera for meetings or things like that. And I just want to have something simple to throw on. And I don't think I have any like cute little lip glosses. This is a lip gloss balm. What is the Oh, Intense Shine Hydrates and Smooths Lips. I'm going to try it. I bought these for Valentine's Day goodie bags for my nieces more than likely or maybe to just set out on my little coffee bar area but they're the valentine's day um airhead mini bars and the flavors they come with are white mystery strawberry and cherry so not a bad deal for 12 i don't think okay i grabbed a couple of these um they're both the same flavor it's the sparkling ice cherry limeade a uh, dollar these are actually now that it's a dollar 25 they probably are cheaper at the grocery store they're always like 10 for 10 or whatever but i was there um cherry limeade is one of my favorite flavors and when i see it and i'm craving it i just grabbed them okay this was such a good find for a dollar 25 this is soft soap so the the name brand and it's the gently coconut and this is 32 fluid ounces. It's a liquid hand soap refill. Hypoallergenic hand soap for sensitive skin. Washes away bacteria. Um, this is such a good freaking find for $1.25. And um, they also had lavender. I don't like lavender, but I do like the coconut scent. This smells really, really good. Uh, I did a community post to announce the name of my shop that's going to be opening up. It is called Lady Leo Creations. It is with my friend Diva Does It here on Instagram and YouTube. Um, my, she's my best friend and um, we don't have our Etsy shop open for you all to see anything yet, but we do have the name and all that stuff posted. Anyways, I'm going to be doing some crafting for that. And so I um, got these acrylic paints. I've seen some people talk about these and they said they were really good. This is the Rich Art Acrylology. And so I got, it's four fluid ounces. And so the colors I got, I got a purple. I also got this pink. I, I got a red. And I got a blue. So they actually have names. I just realized that. So the blue is cobalt blue. The red is scarlet. The pink is magenta. And the purple is violet. Um, I did get one of these in my last Dollar Tree haul. But it was a different scent. This is the Tom's Prebiotic Moisturizing Hand Soap. And this is in the Fresh Apple Scent. I believe the last one I got was a lavender, if I remember correctly. So it wouldn't be one that I would use. But I saw the fresh apple and this was 12 fluid ounces and I had to pick it up. All right, these are new. Um, they're the Vantage brand, which is not a Dollar Tree brand. They are odor eliminators, home, auto, boat, or RV. Um, it says it erases foul odors from smoke, mold, food, or pets. And this is in the scent Black Glacier. And these are eight fluid ounces. And it also says made in the USA, if that matters to you. And the other one I got um, is the New Car Fresh. That's the scent I got on that one. So I figured I'd have one for me, one for Greg, and we would keep them in our cars. All right, last bag, last few items. This here is a waste bags with dispenser. So this is just a little bag. I mean, the holder for poop bags for your dogs. Um, we do have a backyard we let our dogs out in. Um, but sometimes we do like to walk them, especially in the evenings. They get them, you know, walk a little bit further. Good exercise for them. And so when they poop, I usually just carry like a Walmart bag. But I figured this would be nice to have. Uh, again, it has the dispenser. Includes 15 waste bags. And refills are sold separately. I mean, I'm sure you could buy any waste bags. But yeah, so there we go. Okay, one thing I really want to work on in the new year is skincare. I am getting older. If you did not know this, I am 36. I'm going to be 37 this year. I'm not far from 40. No, I don't think I'm old. But I mean, I think I should 
make sure I'm taking good care of my skin. So um, I got a couple of things to go with that. And this is the, um, this is the Ioni brand. And it's the 100% Natural Jade Face Massage Roller. So I got that one and it's the bigger one. And I want to use that to like, you know, roll in my serum and stuff like that on my face. And then I also grabbed the smaller one. It's the Eye Massage Roller. So I got both of those. Also by the Ioni brand. Um, I posted pictures on Instagram too, but there's, they have a lot of new like makeup related items for this brand. But the only thing I really wanted and I grabbed, it's the Lip Spa Scrub. Gentle Exfoliant Nourishing Repair. And this is what it looks like. Oh, let's turn it. Um, it just doesn't have any... It doesn't have like a scent or anything like that. So, but this is the only one I saw also. Um, and you can, maybe they have other scents or whatever. Um, I do see on the back, this is cruelty free. And this is all of their social media information if you wanted to go check them out. Okay, I was on the hunt for this because I'm gonna be doing something to this. Um, but, it's this case and it's like this pearlescent white color. I hope you guys can see kind of like the color shift. Like it's very like a pearl, like a pearl, it's pearlescent. And then when you open it up, there's a mirror. See, there you guys are. Um, there's a mirror and it's got like the little two tier thing. So I thought this was super cute for $1.25. And I'm gonna be doing something with this, so stay tuned. I hadn't seen this before. Now, I don't normally use Yes2, the brand Yes2 products on my face. I feel like they've made my face burn. So I don't use them. But Yes2 Tea Tree Scalp Relief. So I figured I'd give it a try. I mean, we'll see how it does. It says it's scalp relief for dry, itchy scalp, soothing hair clay mask. Yes, too. A moment of zen with tea tree and sage oil mixed into a creamy clay to help calm and soothe an itchy scalp. It's just got one hair mask in it. Again, I just wanted to give it a try. Um, my scalp, sometimes it gets dry and itchy. Um, it just depends. I only wash my hair like once a week, so it just it depends. Right now, it's my scalp's a little dry, um, so I might actually use this when I do when next time I wash my hair. It just says how to use it. Put it in your hair and leave it on for three to five minutes or rinse it out all right you guys have seen these a million times they're just pens from dollar tree that have the little rhinestones on the little diamonds on the top that on the bottom and my last two finds going towards the skincare type stuff i wanted to look into this is the facial serum with vitamins b c and e for all skin types rejuvenate hydrate brighten and it's called Ni niacinamide. I think I'm saying that right. It's by Global Beauty Care. And that's what it looks like here. And it's just a serum for your face. So I thought I would give it a try. It does say on the side all of these wonderful things. So I'm going to go through them pretty quickly. No dyes, paraben free, sulfate free, um, phthalates free. I'm probably saying that wrong. Mineral oil free, silicone free, fragrance free, alcohol free, not tested on animals, giving back to the community for all skin types, non comedogenic and pH balanced and it is cruelty free. Did I already say that? Well, the tap, oh, well, they said not tested on animals. So anyways, it's one ounce and I just figured I'd give it a try. Why not? And then the other thing I think I was one of my most exciting finds, and then I'm ending it with this, it's a, it's by Global Beauty Care, and it's exfoliating lip scrub in the gummy bear flavor. This is freaking such a cute little thing, and so I cannot wait to use it. Uh, my lips get really dry, and so I love doing lip scrubs. I, I love them, so I wanted to give this one a try. Another skincare item that I found is by Global Beauty Care and it's the Cotton Candy Collagen and it's a replenishing lip mask. So after I do a lip scrub, I can put the replenishing lip mask on and I'm really excited to give it a try. Um, plus cotton candy, like yeah. 
They had some new um, squirt bottles out and they had like the, see this, how small this is. So I wanted to give it a try. It kind of has like a little pink tinge to it, but these look really clean and chic and it's a squirt bottle. Oh, I forgot. I also got this from Global Beauty Care as well. And it's a facial serum. It is collagen. Um, it says minimizes the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles for all skin types. Um, and like I said, you know, I'm getting older. Got to keep the skin looking fresh. Okay. Um, this I thought was a really good deal. It's actually a three pack of reusable makeup removing rounds. Sorry if you hear a lawnmower. Somebody's mowing their grass. Um, but yeah, it's a three pack of them. So that's a really good deal. These are name brand and I picked them up to use in my planner. It's the Bic Whiteout, um, you know, the little corrector tape or what have you. So I picked up two of them. If you want reviews on like this or anything that I ever show in my hauls, make sure you comment down below and let me know so I know what things to include in my Dollar Tree review videos that I am gonna be doing soon. Um, and yeah, so that's all that I have for you guys in this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope this helped you see some of the new things that the stores have so you can add things to your wish list. Don't forget to comment down below and let me know what item that I hauled that's like your favorite that you think you definitely want to put on your wish list. Also, don't forget to let me know of any new items I need to be on the lookout for. That's it. So I'll see you on my next video. Bye guys.